For my next video, we're going to take a look at solving one variable word problems. Now, there's lots of different contexts for word problems. There's situations where you'll find word problems. But there's some strategies you can use that can make solving word problems a lot easier. Now, the key to finding out how easy solving word problems is, is not in actually solving them, it's in writing them. We usually have a hard time translating what we see in English to a math problem. So what I'd like to say is read the question first. So I'm going to read the entire question first. All right? Here's the question. Find the number. Well, I'm going to let x be the number. That's right. I'm going to start off by creating a variable that's going to represent my answer. So at the end, when I find x, I'll have found my answer. It's my first step. In most word problems, if you read the actual question, it just simply tells you what variable to use. So we'll let x be the number. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to read through some of the information. So three more than two times a number, or three more than two times x, is equal to five less than three times the number. So that's five less than three times x. Okay, five less than three times x. Three more than two times x. I think where I have my equal sign, you can see that all of the information before the equal sign is going to be the left-hand side. So three more than two times x. So two times x is simply two x. I got rid of the two times part. And three more is two x plus three. Now that's equal to, and now I'll look on the other side. Five less than three times x. So I'll start with three x, and I'll do five less by subtracting. And now we're at a situation where I can solve this problem, uh, and I can do so using uh, my solving multi-step equations work. So I would just simply move this three x over by subtracting it from both sides. And then I'd move this three over by subtracting it from both sides. They would cancel, they would cancel, and I would be left with negative x is equal to negative eight, because negative five minus three is negative eight. Well, if negative x is equal to negative eight, then that must mean that x is equal to eight. And because it's a word problem, I'm gonna answer in a full sentence. The number is eight. Now, I can make videos for every single type of word problem, but the keys here are, we're gonna communicate clearly. We've created a variable that answers our question. We've used the information from the question to create an equation. And then we've done our algebra to solve. And lastly, we've made a statement. And that's solving one variable word problems in a nutshell.